community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I want to go back to where we were with Jim Bartolioni of Bart's Charts last Tuesday when he was on the show. He gave us this chart of the NASDAQ Banking Index, and I want you to pay very close attention to it, folks, because this is what this old cowboy is all about. You can see the ABCD pattern that is forming like we were last Tuesday, right up at that 382 retracement. That's a perfect A, B, C, D pattern in both time and price. On page 222 of Gartley's book, Profits in the Stock Market, this book cost 3700 excuse me, $1,500 in 1937, which was the cost of, of uh, three Ford automobiles. They were $1,500 apiece back in those days. But on this page, page 222, what he was doing was he was explaining this was the best way to trade in the direction of the trend. Wait for an ABCD pattern and get on board at that spot because the trend is down and that's what you're looking for. 1975, I was seeing the reverse pattern in this. In other words, it was a 382 ABCD coming in at a higher bottom and that was a bottom in soybeans and soybean oil and that's what got me back in the game, you know, major after, you know, giving back my all of my money during the 1974 crash. So let's pay really close attention to this one, folks, for two reasons. One, if it works, it'll give us alert that something is going on that may not be what the news is telling us. But the second reason is, is if it breaks out to the upside, it's telling us that things are a whole lot better than people are giving the economy credit for. And maybe this recession that we've had if in fact that's what we did have, is over and maybe the conflict between Ukraine and, uh, or well, <laughs> between Russia and the rest of the world is going to be uh, getting along any better. But folks, there were some major news announcements today from Russia. Actually, it came from the United States. They told everybody that's an American citizen to get out of Dodge. If you're over there in, in, uh, in uh, risky land over there, in Russia, get out of town that they can no longer protect you. Folks, that is not good news. And yet the market doesn't even care. Just shake, shugs it off and keeps going higher. So maybe it's fake news. I don't know. But anyway, that's what the news is. And it's telling you to get out of Dodge. And boy, I'll tell you, if you can't, if you ever travel and you ever had to use a foreign embassy, you know how important that stuff is. So that's going to affect a lot of things uh, if this, in fact, is a true event. The shooting down of these uh, balloons or whatever they are, I have no idea what that means. Uh, and most of it's probably <laughs> far, far advanced from what we think it is. In other words, it's probably either uh, innocuous or so scary that you don't even want to know about it. So I don't uh, mess with it. Anyway, let's get back to the Gartley 222. Folks, I want to show you something, just how much stuff has increased here. This is a a car that I had uh, back in 1960. Now, I didn't buy this car till I was a senior in college, and uh, it, was, uh, it's a, it was a 1960 Porsche Roadster. It's this exact same car that I had, except that my leather interior was red, okay? But it was a 356 Roadster, and uh, I bought it from a um, retired oral surgeon, and it was two years old, and I paid, uh, I think I paid $2,100 for it. He paid, the, the sticker on the car had been 2900 Folks, this car is exactly the way it is right now. It's being offered for sale by a company in California, but I want you to see it is absolutely perfectly restored. It's just like it came off of the, um, uh, the uh, factory there in Stuttgart. But what's so funny, folks, is when I saw this, 
I told Sarah, Sarah, guess what you can get me for my next birthday? And I want to give, you're going to get a kick out of this when you see this because this is really unusual. You'll notice, look at the license plate, folks, 222. You know, I always, my shirts are monogrammed 222. And uh, I, uh, I believe in that 222 pattern so much because it's on page 222 in Gartley's book. That is the Gartley pattern. But here it is. If you look at the upper, right above the last two on the far right, you'll see 1956. Uh, this plate was issued to the person, it was a, pos a, a Porsche aficionado, and he had a 356 Speedster, and this was the license plate that they have. Now for the, the trick question, how much do you think they're offering this car for sale uh, here in, uh, in California? It is a totally restored 356B 1960 Porsche, and you can get it for the unwavering price of 375 thousand dollars hello operator and believe it or not folks this is the funny part it's already been sold i just wondered how much it was going to be so i skyped them or i emailed them and said how much is the car and they told me and they said it had already been sold for the price uh advertised which was three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars i don't know what they think the upside value is on this but i know uh, that's a very expensive car for the money, but you stop and think of the artwork that these people have been doing uh, on some of these things. It's it's really incredible. Let's move on to just a couple other things that I think are important. By the way, I will be doing Tom O'Brien's uh, closing show between 3 and 4 today, and uh, then we're back in the regular realm of uh, usual shows for tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to have Norm Winsky of uh, Astro Trends as our guest. I hope everybody enjoyed the football game. I I like the Kansas City Chiefs, even though my heart was with Philadelphia. I don't bet on things, so I didn't make a bet on the game. But uh, to me, it looked like that he was the unknown quantity, and you can see what happened uh, when he came back from his injury. And uh, that was really uh, interesting to see uh, what was going on. Now, we've got some uh, real exciting things happening here today, folks, as we're, as we're speaking here uh, with these markets. I wanted to show you this morning uh, what was going on in the uh, E-mini S&P because if you, like, if you like these numbers and ratios that we see here uh, at uh, – at 24-7, Fibonacci 24-7. You have to pay attention to this one here today. This is the E-mini S&P. And the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention to show you the importance of these algorithmic traders that are out there. Now, here is the overnight low right down here. If you remember, we said this market, if it gets to 40.48, it is going to be a screaming buy. Well, we only got to 40.64. But look at the open. Look how the market was coming down right into the open, okay? And look at this. The low on the opening tick right there was an exact 382 of the overnight low that happened in the middle of the night around 2 in the morning my time. So look at this. And then it, then it starts to explode. Now, I know this is only a four-minute chart, but remember, this market's running like a scalded goose or a boiling frog, you know, uh, what do they call that? Pycothermia. Anyway, look at this. Each of these last little corrections were exactly 382, and they're still going up. Now we've exceeded the 1.618, folks. This market is storming higher. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report? For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. C call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, the previous chart that I posted was for the E-mini S&P, and then what I was going to do was to show you what I'm showing you right now, which is the NASDAQ. And as you can see, that 382 right on the opening this morning was just an absolute perfect 382, and of course, the market exploded up. And, you know, we are trading, it's an hourly chart, so we're trading, uh, we're at the 382 retracement, folks, of the whole move that we made 10 days ago. We did this in a matter of a day. So the slightest bit of increase, and once we, if we get the Dow Jones up more than 400, you know, by gosh, this thing could really uh, move to the upside. So just don't stand in front of it because, you know, this was a major ABC down there last week. And all we're doing now is seeing the, uh, the results of it. Remember, uh, I'll bring this up to you. Uh, I, I believe it's easier for me to show you on the daily chart. And by, by doing that, I can uh, get this up here just one second here so we can see it without too much trouble. Hold on just a minute. I want to get that four hour in here to show you the importance of where we were here because uh, you'll be able to see it uh, from uh, Friday's point of view and then also from today. But you'll notice here there was the number that we were looking at down in here. We hit that. The key number was just a tad lower than that. And that came in at uh, 40. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 48. We only got to 4064, and now you can see we're getting ready. Once we take this out, and we're not very far away from it, we take that out. This is potentially looking at another A, B, C, D, and this will be really getting up here into that 4200, even 4300. That there's a possibility that we could make that without any trouble at all, and we're doing that in the face of some. You know, pretty bearish news coming out that, you know, we're in a major recession. The, the jobs market certainly doesn't think that's what's happening. If you look what's going on with the Super Bowl and stuff with all the people there, of course, that's always the case because people like to pay, you know, $6,500 for a ticket for a four and a half hour game. I certainly would love to have that chance. Hello, operator. I think not. 
Anyway, let's move on here and t take uh, care of a couple little things here. We have a few commodities that are looking very interesting today, folks, uh, if you like commodities, and, and we certainly do here. The first one we're going to be talking about here is the uh, soybean market, folks. And this is a, a market over the last two weeks. It's a daily chart, but it, it depicts what we're seeing here is a, a beautiful three drive to a top pattern uh, in the uh, – the soybean market. We've already uh, that number measured to 55, 15.55. The high so far has been 15.56, and as you can see from the chart, we're already down 20 more than 20 cents from that high already. Now, what that's a small move for soybeans, but at least it started uh, in the right direction, and it is an A B C D pattern. So it's quite interesting. Now, the soybean meal, which is the one that has been the strongest of the complex uh, by far. Uh, traded above uh, $508 a ton uh, today, folks. And that, uh, you know what? I think I can't even remember whether it's $508 a ton. It can't be a pound. I know that. So it's got to be $508 a ton. I, I, I just don't even know that. I know oil is in the pounds, but I'll be darned. I can't, uh, I can't remember. Shut the front door. I'll have to ask Rich Anderson. I'll look it up. Anyway, I, I, it's tradable, each dollar. Each each point in the, in the meal is worth a hundred dollars, but we're trading above five hundred. We haven't done that in uh, six years, folks. We haven't been that high in soybean meal, and this is why you're paying six, seven, and eight dollars a dozen for eggs because eggs are pretty much recycled soybean meal through a chicken, is what it is. It's pure protein and it's tofu. Uh, you know, it's all the things that you uh, – synthetic meats or whatever you want to do, but it's mainly for feed and especially for chickens because uh, they have to eat that and uh, it, keep it uh, nice and clean. They don't eat fish meal, otherwise the eggs – Tastes like fish, and people don't like that. Okay, that's uh, that's what we're paying attention to here today. There's one other one that looks really interesting. Uh, if you like to eat meat, and I certainly do, let's take a look here at the cattle market because cattle market is what we call screaming away. And I want to get this up here to show it to you right here. Now, this is uh, April cattle. And as you can see here, you know, we had the pullback right here. There was your big pullback. And then you had the 135 pattern. This thing's been working higher. Look at the higher bottoms in here, folks. Each one of them, you know, there's your perfect Gartley at the 78% level. There it is at the 78% level. Here it is at the 61% retreble. Nothing but ABCDs all the way up. And look where we are now. We're at a major three drive to a top pattern plus a major ABCD. So at this level here, at 165 in cattle, that's a major deal. Folks, let me explain to you how a major deal it is. When cattle were trading at 100, okay, in 1977, and I was in Beverly Hills working as a commodity broker there, the housewives of Beverly Hills were actually on the street with signs complaining about beef being a dollar. 100 bucks. Okay. Now it's 65% higher than that. And you don't find nary a person from Beverly Hills out there complaining about the price of cattle. So this is going to be an interesting one. I have not issued a sell signal in this. My, uh, my strategy here is looking at this uh, cattle chart. I don't want to <laughs> – Duffy's saying they're all vegetarians. <laughs> you, know, you know, you're probably right. I have never – I tasted one of those uh, Beyond Beef burgers once, and I just laughed. I said, anybody that thinks this tastes like beef ought to be really – no charts posting. How could that be? I'm looking at it right now. Hold on just a minute. Let's see if we can get this up here. I did it again. Okay, there's the there's the cattle chart right there. And, uh, okay, sorry for the – I don't know why it didn't post the first time. It posted for me. Anyway, we're going to be following through with this, all right? That's the main thing that we're – thank you, Jacob. Uh, we're going to be watching uh, – you just don't want to – you don't need to, to pick a top up in here. Remember what Gartley said. You don't have to pick a top. He said wait for the first correction down. And then sell the sell the retracement after that, and that's what we're probably going to look at. But this is a really bullish market. It's been going on for quite a while, and the difference between cattle and hogs, folks, is like night and day. Hogs are just off their lows, down there at eighty six or eighty seven dollars a pound for live hogs. So, price of pork is extremely cheap.
And, of course, in China, you know, pork is the preferred uh, meat. It's the white meat, but uh, chicken is, is first, uh, is number one, and then uh, pork is under that. But beef, they get most of their beef, uh, if you're from, any, if you ever travel over there, any beef that you eat in a uh, Chinese market as a steak or hamburger uh, comes from Australia. So, you know, they they don't eat too much over there. You know, and McDonald's, too. McDonald's beef comes from Australia. And there's a lot of McDonald's over there, but the preferred meats over there are chicken and pork. They have a lot of pork in the McDonald's, so they have a selective menu. Um, yes, in 2014, the, the cattle were a little bit higher. That is correct. Uh, no, I, I'm not into that horse meat stuff. I, we used to try that when we were kids, and uh, even when mom and my, my grandmother tried to disguise it, uh, we, it's a little too, uh, a little bit too tough. <laughs> anyway, but they do, they do, in fact, horse and, and other, well, I don't want to mention other animals, otherwise this double ACP or whatever those people are will come after me because if you go to Korea and parts of Japan, there's other little animals that they eat too. Let's move on. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff on the line, and he wants to talk about April cattle. Is that correct? Uh, Larry, this is John in Philly, and I'd like to ask you about uh, April gold. 
April Gold. Oh, it's April Gold. Okay, John, John, you have my sympathies, folks. I was thinking of you guys yesterday. My heart was with the Eagles, but boy, my mind, my my brain said, be careful because that kid is so good for me from Kansas City. Anyway, let's talk about April Cattle. What would you like to have? My two cents worth? No, it's, uh, I'll repeat, Larry, April Gold. Um, and, and, of course, I know you uh, scrutinize this market carefully each and every day. Uh, yeah. Very specific question, Larry. The um, the April gold contract just came down and uh, literally in the past three hours made a low of eighteen sixty one. That is just a couple of bucks under Friday's low at eighteen sixty three. Very specific question. Uh, as you assess your fib levels, your support levels, and your patterns, do you see a low risk buy point in Comex Gold? Right here. Yeah, well, if it if it made it only lower low by just a couple of dollars, it told you there was very little selling there. So that's your first indication. And uh, you know, I would uh, I, you know if you if you want to buy gold, that's certainly a better price to buy it now than it was at eighteen, you know, seventy seven. So you've got a good place to put your stop. That's just right below that other low because if that goes, you know, you're going to down lower. So you can trade something that's one hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars. And only risk a couple hundred bucks. You don't get those kind of odds in Las Vegas. So the risk control is paramount here. But sure, you can easily get a twelve, fifteen dollar uh, a barrel. Uh, <laughs> John, I'm a little bit tired because of the fact that I've been fighting this terrible allergy with this darn Palo Verde tree. We're 82 degrees here yesterday, and boy, they got me pretty good this morning. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is the risk here is very, very small. But John, I think the place to really look at it. From a, from a longer standpoint, is if we can make a 382 retracement there at 1848. Now we're only we're only
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back, folks, Dow's up 264, S&P 34, NASDAQ 174, and the Russell's up 12 points out there. We're taking a look at AbV out here, trading out at 152. This is for Dan, options Dan, inside our Tiger's Den. So, Dan, as we take a look at this chart here, you're going to see a TD9 count and Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom on the daily time frame. You're going to see here that price gapped up above its uh, daily profile on February 9th. Took on its TD9 count breakdown resistance of 150.43, and then on Friday, it finally took that thing out. This is a signal of price that wants to move higher. Move higher to where? Well, quite frankly, the next area of resistance on the daily time frame comes up at the 166.28 level on a big kind of A to B equals CD pattern. Nothing along those lines. So you can mark that down on a pad of paper as one potential stop. But the weekly chart says, well, before you get up there, you've got to take on my resistance levels. That's at the 155.78. You'll see the green oscillator and change line is near that area right now. That was the top of its polar structure profile. Price should be able to make that run. Why? Because typically when you close above the center of a bullish structured profile, or below the center of a bearish structured profile, you'll make that full move. The full move is either to the top, in this case here, that's what we're looking at, 155.78, to the reverse, it would be to the bottom of the profile. So price should make that way to the 155.78 level. 155.55, and as price moves up, that'll change a bit. So again, that's just gotten that. We're looking at the monthly time frame chart. That becomes your real price target and where you could run into some real resistance. But if price can clear that area, that brings in the 166.28 level. So hope that helps you out. 
AbbVie looks like it has uh, turned the corner here. Let me see this on the daily time frame. Let's see here. What do we got? This is the consecutive days to the upside and the downside. You can see on this move to the downside, it had never had any consecutive days to the upside. Today, looks like it could be bar number three. So Abby looks like this thing has turned a corner. I hope that helps you out, Options Dan. Thank you so much for the request. The next request that I have in here, in fact, that's the only request that I'm aware of at this stage, is coming from McGuppy inside our tiger's den and he is in the smh's out here so that's the first place that we're going to start in the case of the smh's on friday it confirmed a sell the d point pattern it did that because you can see we have the we have the a to b and then we have price targeting or at least making that one to one level up there and then on friday the reason why it is a confirmed sell the d point pattern is because price gap to the downside the gap to the downside is a bearish reversal candle However, price is moving higher today. We're trading above yes, uh, Friday's high. Yesterday's high. We're trading above Friday's high. That's a bullish outcome. So what price could be doing is targeting resistance. That is at 249 and change out here. Right now it's 249.09, but that number will change by pennies as price moves up and down. So you've got to confirm, sell the D point. McGuppy, you're asking where to buy more. Let this pattern play out here. Perhaps this is setting up an A to B equals CD to the downside. I don't know if it is or it isn't. One price target would be 239.04 to the downside. The weekly chart says, hey, I don't know what you're talking about, a sell the D point pattern. I've got that same A to B equals CD, and I don't have a bearish reversal candle. And that is true. But right now, we've got the daily time frame that we've got to deal with. And until it negates its uh, stopping pattern out here, uh, which is going to require, I'd say, a close above its highs out there, we just don't know. You do have a wonderful TD9 count bottom on the SMH for the monthly time frame, and price stopping right at resistance. That's the monthly oscillator and change line. Um, so I'm going to say you're asking where to where to add. I'm going to say when we take a look at the SMHs overall, I don't know. I think we just because of that potential because of that sell the D point pattern, we just need to be patient here. Uh, let's take a look at uh, a couple of those instruments inside there, the high flyers. I believe that uh, uh, McGuppy has these individual positions, and the first one is Nvidia. Well, what's Nvidia do? Nvidia forms a TD nine count top. It uh, formed that pattern on Friday. Uh, it was bar number eight, the Thursday high. That actually is the high of the pattern. Today completes that. But price right now is trading just slightly above its green oscillator and change line. That's a bullish signal out there and suggests a further rally. That is, if price can close above 217.89 or stays above 217.89. If it does that, McGuppy, what you should be looking for is a move up to 223.38. If we look at the weekly time frame charts, very similar to the SMHs. The monthly chart for the SM, uh, for NVIDIA is not similar. This shows us a nice TD9 count bottom, price above its green oscillator and change line, above the top of its profile, Nevada and, and Nevada and NVIDIA want to trade up to 389.46. That's the longer term picture there. This still could be pulling back to 206.34 or even 189.50. But this chart looks a little bit better than the SMHs. What about AMD? Well, if we go take a look at the charts here for AMD, what do they tell us? The daily time frame shows us what? It shows us a confirmed sell the D point pattern. That was that bearish shooting star candle from February 3rd. Price is below its oscillator and change line. It's above its uh, the top of its daily profiles out here. So I'd have to say overall, we've got kind of a kind of a neutral-ish type signal. Weekly chart looks wonderful. Monthly chart says I want to go target 91.30. So you're wondering where to add on these positions here. You still need the SMH as the overall sector to probably give us that signal. So uh, I'm just uncertain. I don't see a clear I don't see a clear pattern here to uh, trade, uh, to, to, to tell you where to enter or add to that position. So I hope that that helps you out. And uh, thank you so much for the uh, request. Now, just looking at email, no requests there. I don't believe there's anything inside the Tiger's Den. So we do have about a couple of minutes here. If uh, somebody does have something they want me to take a look at, just punch in the symbol. We'll pull those charts up. Short of that, what are we going to go take a look at? So we looked at... Um, gold we looked at the es mini we've taken a look at a lot of charts we've kind of taken a look at the mining sector certainly the semiconductor sector so where does that leave us you know let me just see what's going on the look at my nine panel market update chart out there what do we want to look at mm, 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 mm. nothing stands up when you take a look at the, that um Crude oil. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Let's go take a look at light sweet crude for Mr. Bill inside the Tiger's Den. We'll get these charts here to pop. It'll take just a, a moment. Uh, we are in the March contract. Let's go take a look at April. 
Uh, so let's take a look at the April contract here for Lightspeed Crude. Let's get those populated. The daily is going to show up on the upper left-hand side. We've got price trading out at 79.81. So the March contract for Lightspeed Crude should go target 80.66. That's the top of its profile. Mr. Bill, if price can close above that, then we're looking at a move up to 82.69, the TD9 count breakdown resistance level. Nice TD9 count bottom on the daily time frame. So 80.66 is your support area. That price should go target. That's confirmed by the five-hour time frame chart shows price continues to remain above its oscillator and change line which gets tested and continues to act as support if we look at a four hour time frame chart i don't see much out here again price trade with inside uh, its profiles 8022 is resistance level we got 8066 on the uh, daily time frame so that really becomes your resistance zone so when i take a look at light speed crude everything here mr bill looks like price wants to run higher 8005 on the 30 minute chart is a resistance zone so price could close above that which is the top of its bear structure profile that would be a bullish outcome so i hope that helps you out uh, thank you very much. Uh, Steve, just back in. Did I check the cues? Can I check the cues, please? I can. If we can check the cues. We'll just do it this way here. We'll just put up the three time frames for the QQQ chart. We'll see what they're signaling to us. You know, normally, Duncan, I would go take a look at the end cues, but you specifically asked for the cues. We've got just about uh, 15 seconds here. So in the case of the cues, they've got a nice TD9 count top. That formed out here on the trading day of February 2nd. Price right now is trying to overcome and get back inside or get back above its green oscillator and change line. So if price can close above 303.28, Duncan, that would suggest we could see a move up to the uh, recent highs out there. And that's up at the 313 level. That's what I see when we take a look at the uh, queues out there. Um, we do have another request to take a look at the GSM for Dan of the Tiger's Den. And... Uh, Duncan, Steve, let me know if I've given you the information you needed with regard to the QQQ. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. 
TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we got the Dow up 289, S&P 37, NASDAQ 182, Russell's up 14. Uh, so we got a rally on today. Let's go take a look at the last two requests out here. Uh, the first one is for ticker symbol uh, GSM. That was from, uh, I'm not sure who, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that was for Dan, no problem, Dan. Uh, so if you take a look at GSM, it's got a TD9 count top that formed out here on January 18th. It's really traded in a sideways move out here. Now it looks like it's trying to bust through that sideways move. I don't have any kind of a bottom signal out here in the daily time frame. So what's open is a move to 368. I'm not saying it's gonna get down there, but you're below profile, you're below um, its oscillator and change line, a further retracement is in order. You're back inside the weekly profiles out here. So 430 is an area of support to watch. Your price got below that, 418 would become a target out there. That is GSM. Let's go to the next request, maybe the final request out here, which is ticker symbol XBI. And if we take a look at XBI, the question was maybe something like, um, is it time to get in? I think something like that out here. If we take a look at XBI, here's what I can share with you. There's a new profile that is formed. Um, no, I take that back. Uh, there's not a new profile. Price is trading right now right at the bottom of its profile, 85.91. You're at 85.86. If price closes below 85.91 today, that would be two days below that. And that would suggest lower price. So the question was, is today's uh, a little move higher uh, uh, a sign of an entry? And I, and I don't see it that way. Watch the profile throughout the day. The weekly chart, I, you're back inside its profile as well, so price could easily target 83.69. The monthly, you're back below its red oscillator and change line the, after closing above it last month. It's not a great signal, but it's obviously early. It's only the 13th in the month out there. So is now the time to add to a position in XBI? Look, your price could regain 85, uh, what was it, 85, uh, 91. We get back of a 85.91, then maybe, uh, because price will pull back to its bullish structured profile. So I just be careful there. So I do hope that helps you out. Thank you so much for all the requests out there. Please stay tuned. We've got magnificent programming on Magical Monday. Have a wonderful day, folks, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Take care. Be safe out there.